Hello everyone and welcome to what is the first video on this YouTube channel. I'm filming this little clip here the day after we've come back from Thor Park, just as a little introduction as to what sort of content I'm going to be uploading on this channel. As you can tell by the channel name, my name is Yestin Edwards. I'm a student currently based in Cardiff, so I have quite a lot of spare time on my hands. With that spare time, I'm going to hope to upload videos weekly on this channel, mainly surrounding the UK theme parks at the moment. I'm also going to be uploading some surfing videos, as well as hopefully being able to film some videos abroad when the government restrictions begin to lift a little bit. I'm hoping that you guys enjoy the videos I produce, and if you do, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to keep updated with any later videos. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. quarter past seven in the morning but we're going to Thorpe Park right so I did wake up about 10 minutes ago and I have just had a shower so my hair's all over the place and whatnot but we're leaving very soon it's a Wednesday so it shouldn't be too busy hopefully the queues will be quite low and we'll be able to get on most things the weather isn't supposed to be too good today the weather the weather yeah the weather yeah but we're gonna go there and make the most of it, to be honest. If certain rides are closed, then it's not too much of a big deal. Obviously, we'll be coming back on some of the busier days anyway. So with all that in mind, let's start the edit. I know where you've been, I smell the sin and you're looking nice. Right, so we've just come off the swarm, which is the park's B&M winged coaster with that amazing inverted drop hair. We, were, uh, we got to the top and my dad realised he still had his glasses on. So <laughs> in the photo he has his glasses trying to keep them on. But yeah, no, it's a very good ride. I think it's arguably one of my favourite rides here at Thor Park. It's a very good one as it just goes up the lift hill now. If you haven't been to any of the uh, Merlin parks during, well not during lockdown, but post lockdown, they've got these little chevrons on the floor to make sure that um, people stick to social distancing and the, the social distancing rules. Um, in the 
queue lines, well not necessarily in the queue lines, but on the rides and whatnot, you have to make sure that you're wearing masks at all times as well. For our second ride of the day, we then went on Stealth, which is the park's um, Intamin launch coaster. Goes from 0 to 80 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the fastest ride in the UK. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too sure if it is or not. It's always good to get back on that ride. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's either between that or the Swarm. And then we headed on to Nemesis Inferno, which is the park's B&M invert coaster, which is the sister coaster to Nemesis at Alton Towers. There's always a bit of an online war between which one people actually prefer. I'm not too sure. I reckon maybe Nemesis at Alton Towers. The weather's been a little bit meh. It's trying to rain, but it's not too bad. All the rides are still open. We are currently outside Colossus and Saw the Ride. I think we'll probably be heading on Saw the Ride next. managed to get on Colossus, which was currently our longest wait of the day, but it was only about 20 minutes long. But recently, I know a lot of people agree with me that it has been riding well. Over the past the past few times I've been here, it's been riding well. However, we did hop on today and it was a little bit of a head rattler. So take that as you will. So if you are thinking about coming to Thor Park, one thing to bear in mind is that currently all the dark rides, such as Darren Brown's Ghost Train, and the Walking Dead the Ride, they are all, all closed until May the 17th. But all the major coasters are still open, all the outdoor attractions are, but currently all the indoor ones are closed until that date. We are now currently walking over towards Saw the Ride, so I'll pop in some off-ride footage for that now. So we've just come off Saw the Ride. It was very good actually. I mean, we probably waited around 20, 25 minutes. It was a back row ride. I know a lot of people complain about the back row. They say it can get a little bit around some of the inversions because the inversions are quite tight. It can be a little bit rough, but no, we had a really good ride on there. It was quite smooth. We're now heading over to some of the flat rides like Rush and Vortex um, as that's all the coaster's done. Might hop on maybe the Swarm again later, or maybe Stealth, but for now we're gonna hop on some of the flat rides and just see how much time we have left. So up next, we're going on Rush, which is supposedly a five minute wait. Future Yestin back once again. I had originally recorded an outro for this video at Thorpe Park. However, the video that I did record was right next to some of the speakers at the theme park. And I do believe the music that they use is copyrighted, so I don't want the video to get taken down. So I thought I would record another one now. However, at the end of the day, we did manage to hop on the swarm and stealth twice as the workers allowed us to go around again because there was nobody in the queue. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to keep updated with any of the later videos which I will be posting on this channel. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next video.